Today we have to discuss one more example regarding Bayesian network and introduction for the decision tree and the algorithm which we would be using. So here is the last example over here we can see that we have got these three possible variables burglar open door and damage door okay here we are considering that the burglar uh, can enter into the house due to two reasons maybe when the owner was locking the door it was not locked properly it was left open or uh, maybe if it was locked properly me, he damaged the door and he entered into the house. So, we have to find out on this basis that what is the probability that there is a burglar given door is damaged. Okay? So, if we need to find it out according to the conditional probability or if we want to see on the basis of the basis, here it is. That was actually probability of A given B. Okay? Depending upon the co okay, cause given that effect equals to probability of b given a into probability of a divided by the probability of b okay so instead of this i can write this particular thing as well right and these two are actually equal according to the conditional probability okay humne dekha tha last do uh, lecture pehle so here what i would be doing in this example as well according to my given question i have to find out the probability of burglar given that the door is damaged so i will represent this damaged door as d burglar for b and open door as o okay and all of these values are given maine pehle hi aap false statement ki bhi yahan pe calculate karke likh liye so that it would be easy and uh, so now if i just expand this particular formula to aap yahan par dekh sakte ho that we have to see how it would be done ab ye to hame pata hai that the door is actually damaged this proper this particular condition is true and for burglar ye bhi hame pata chala that the burglar has also came that condition is also true for us but before uh, we, while expanding this formula we need to see ke either isme kuch aise bhi aap dekh sakte ho variables and that is not given but uh, while expanding it we need to see ke agar wo particular variable kisi aur dusre apne parent pe depend kar raha hai so we need to expand this particular formula and if i just expand that expand it according to that uh, joint probability formula jo ke humne calculate karna dekha tha we were ha we are having these three particular variables d b and o so here it is so agar hum iske basis pe kare first of all let's see the probability of d okay probability for probability of d damage door we can see that there are two parents for this particular for variable that is b and o so i have to see that probability of d given that o and b ab yahan pe to hamare paas o ke to baat hui nahi thi that the door is open but that is actually the parent of the d i need to see agar mere paas iske bhi further parents hai to i do need to write about that as well so if i see this i can see that open door also has the parent and that is actually b this burglar so i have to write that as well that will be the probability of o given b and the last but not the least humne dono karna hai yahan pe probability of b theek hai yahan pe bhi humne ise mention karna tha probability of b and that was also available within our formula jo ki hamare paas bhi tha so now if i just expand it according to the main probability formula which was actually the probability of a of b that is the probability of d jo dice ki basis pe bhi humne ek example mein karke bhi dekha tha that probability of the desired output divided by the sum of the total outcome that we were actually getting so this is what we would be doing so here i can see agar main isi formula ko expand karu that would be probability of d which was true in our situation and probability of open door theek hai probability of open door and burglar equals to do that was also true and in denominator i need to see both of these two statements ab yahan open ki agar main baat karu open door ki first of all before going for the denominator ओपन डोर की बेसिस पे हमें यहाँ पे नहीं पता दैट आइदर दैट पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन वुड बी ट्रू और फॉल्स और हमें पता है हर एक वेरिएबल के यहाँ पे दो ही पॉसिबल uh, हो सकती हैं स्टेटमेंट्स दैट कुड आइदर बी ट्रू और फॉल्स सो इन दैट केस वी डोंट हैव द वैल्यू फॉर दिस वन तो हमें ये दोनों बेसिस पे कैलकुलेट करना पड़ेगा फॉर द ट्रू स्टेटमेंट एज वेल एंड फॉर द फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट एज वेल सेम वुड बी द केस ओवर हेयर दैट इज एक्चुअली द टोटल आउटकम बेस्ड तो हमें यह तो पता है दैट द डोर 
is damaged and that is true and then for open door and burglar we need to see the summation of all of these two all possible situations that is true and false for both of these two this is what i would be doing so agar main is formula ko further expand karu this is how it would be done probability of damaged door is true for us now ab humne ye dekh liya tha ki open door ki basis pe hame ye nahi pata that it's either a true statement or a false statement so i need to calculate it for both of these two so first of all i am considering it for the true statement aur hame ye to pata tha for burglary that was true plus the summation of probability of d equals to t and then o damage open door would be false and b again would be the true statement jo ki hamari uske basis pe tha and then the summation of the probability of d to be true and the open door के लिए भी हमने सारी ट्रू एंड फॉल्स पॉसिबिलिटी देखनी है सेम वुड बी द केस फॉर द बर्गुलरी ठीक है एंड देन ओके नाउ लेट्स जस्ट सी हाउ यू वुड बी कैलकुलेटिंग दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर द न्यूमरेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम क्या ले रहे हैं वी आर कंसिडरिंग कंसिडरिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री वेरिएबल्स आर ट्रू तो इसकी बेसिस पे हमने वैल्यूज को पुटअप करते जाना होगा एंड हेयर इज द जॉइंट प्रोबिलिटी फार्मूला दैट आई वुड बी यूजिंग जो कि इसकी बेसिस पे हमने एक्सपैंड कर लिया था अर्लियर so probability of d to be true o to be true and b to be true so in that formula b the value of b to be true sorry oops the probability of d to be true theek okay? hai the probability of d to be true and o to be true and b to be true so that is 0.99 here i got it and then the probability of O to be true, given that B is true. Probability of O to be true, given that B is true, and that is zero point zero one. So here I got it. Last but not the least, probability of B to be true. It's independent variable, so that is zero point two. So if I take its product, that would be equal to zero point zero zero one nine eight. Now I have to see for the false particular statement of an open door. Okay. simply jo mere paas yahan pe true statements thi i have to put up the values that would be false for this particular condition again this formula on the basis of d to be true o to be false b to be true kyunki ye to hamare paas given thi iske liye hame dekhna padega let's just see d to be true here it is for the damaged door and o to be false and b to be true that value is 0.8 the probability so here it is 0.8 then the last one second last one is probability of o to be false and b to be true probability of o to be false and b to be true which is 0.99 here it is and i hope aapko yaad hoga that how actually we have calculated is that would be probability of not a equals to 1 minus probability of a that is how we have calculated that okay so this will give me the product of 0.1584 and then in the same way i am now done with the numerator agar hum yahan pe baat kare now if we talk about the calculation of a denominator that is actually the summation of damaged door to be true and i have to see all of the possibilities of open door that is true and false same would be the case for the burglary that is true and false ab hum numerator mein dekhe humne do possible conditions ko to calculate kar liya tha and we have got these two possible so hamare paas total denominator mein four joints banenge we actually need the sum of these four joints theek hai jisme agar aap chao to table ki basis pe to hamare paas yahan pe already given hai nahi hota to hum bana lete here it is we have got the value for these two now i have to calculate for b ke liye to hamare paas ho gayi true ki wale us calculate theek hai and now i have to see for the false statements and same is the case agar mere paas yahan pe bhi do possible ho sakte hain to table mein humne dekha tha that if we have got two possible वेरिएबल जो उसका बनाए तो वी विल गेट एक्चुअली द फोर पॉसिबल सेट्स विद इन दैट और यही हमारे पास यहाँ पे गिवन भी है सो ओवर हेयर आई कैन सी दैट फॉर डी टू बी ट्रू हमने ये दो पॉसिबल कैलकुलेट कर रही थी वे बोथ ऑफ दीज वर ट्रू वेल इल ओ वॉज फॉल्स एंड द बी वॉज ट्रू नाउ आई हैव टू सी फॉर द अदर फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट ऑफ बी एज वेल एज द लेफ्ट वन फॉर द ओ ठीक है सो द वैल्यूज आर 
if I put this again within that formula, simply what I need to do, यहाँ पे हमारे पास O की वैब formula क्या हो जाएगा? That would be for this one probability of D to be true, O to be true, and F to be false. So that would be probability of D equals to three, given that O is true and D is false. Simply यहाँ पे हम इसे put कर पढ़ते जाएँगे, and then probability of O हम यहाँ पे कह रहे हैं true given that B to be false into probability of B to be false if I put up the values within this तो हम यहाँ पे अगर orally just dry run करके देख लेते D to be true O to be true B to be false D to be true O to be O to be true and F to be false that is 0.9 0.9 into O to be true and B to be false. So here it is B to be true. Okay, here it is. Sorry, O to be true and B to be false. That is zero point four. So we got zero point nine into zero point four and B to be false. That is zero point eight. It will give us the product of zero point two eight eight. Then the last one would be. हम ने क्या करना है? Again, I have to make sure that O is false for that, as well as B is false. So for that, if I just see the probability, अगर हम product भी यहाँ पे ले रहे हैं, तो for this one, if we can see, it's actually zero point zero zero. तो हम ये value put up करेंगे. If I just see for this one, O to be false, B to be false, O to be false and B to be false. That is zero point six into zero point eight. So if I take it product, that would be leading to 0.0, .0. तो ये हमारे पास सारी values आ गई numerator and denominator की now simply I want to put up the value within this formula and if I place the values in that so here it is actually what we are getting probability of D was true B was true for open door to be true statement and in the other one it should be false और इसके लिए हमने calculate किया था 0.00198 for all of the true statements, here O was false and B was given as as true. D was also given as as true, so that was 0 0.1584. So summation of these two numerators lead to 891. And at the denominator, I have to write all of the possible four summation joints, which was 0 0.00198 for all of the true statements, and then it was 0 0.1584 where D was true, O was false and again B was true. Here if I see the second one, here we have what D was true, O was true, V was false. So over here this is the value for D to be true, it was given and then O to be true and F to be false. Over here D was true and while the other two that was open door and the burglary that was false. So this summation leads to 2491 and the probability which we will get is 35.77. Now if I see it for the second situation just we have to see that probability of D to be true given that B to be true. First we have to probability of B to be true given that D is true. Here we are taking probability of D to be true given that B is true. True. So again, according to that formula, and I mean, take note of what we have. Probability of D comma B divided by the probability of B. So first of all, I have to expand it according to the joint probability formula. That would be probability of D comma B. Or if we have to mean base rule, then we know that that is actually probability of B comma D into probability of D जो कि actually हमें ये ही दे रहा है lead so this is actually what I am taking over here so if I expand it for this it would be probability of D probability of D हमने देखा था within our formula again I'll just see that it is dependent upon these two parents so the probability of D और D के according हमें पता है that it is true D to be true given that we have got O, okay. O again, यहाँ पे हमें mention ही है, so we have to see for both of these two possible statements, comma B to be true, right? Okay. 
एंड देन आई हैव टू सी यहाँ पर जो इसके पेरेंट्स हैं इफ दे फर्दर डू हैव द ग्रैंड इन सिस पेरेंट्स और इन सिस्टर्स सो आई हैव टू रिप्रजेंट दैट इज़ वेल एंड दैट वुड बी प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ओ ओपन डोर वी जिस दैट इट वॉज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन बी सॉरी दैट वॉज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन बी सो इट वुड बी प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ओ गिवन दैट बी एंड विच इज ट्रू फॉर आर पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन इन टू बी अभी उसके हम यहाँ देख सकते दैट बी इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल तो सिंपली वी जस्ट हैव टू राइट दैट एंड इट वुड लीड टू प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी एंड देन डिवाइडेड बाय अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला विद प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी सिंपली दिस वुड गेट कैंसिल्ड एंड देन वी वुड बी कैलकुलेटिंग इट फॉर द ट्रू एंड फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दीज टू दिस इज हाउ इट वुड बी डन अब आपने क्या करना है वी हैव डन प्रीवियसली द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बर्गेलर लारम वेर इज दैट पेज यस सो हेयर इट इज अब आपने इसमें क्या करना है यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी गिवन दैट गिवन दैट जैक कॉल्स एंड मैक डज नॉट एक्ल दैट वुड बी प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी एंड जे एंड नॉट बी तो हम इसे कॉमा के फॉर्म में भी बेसिस पे भी लिख सकते थे आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट given that n let's see divided by the probability of j comma m so here it is so ab hame kya karna hai you need to calculate first of all this numerator and then the denominator ab aapne ye karna hai you have to calculate for this aur agar hum ise ab yahan pe hum dekh sakte hain ki ye kis particular attributes pe depend kar raha hai we have to expand it and then what possible joints we would be getting for that to agar main is formula ko expand karu probability of this one probability of b comma j and not m a probability agar hum is cheez mein dekhe to here it is probability of j first of all theek hai mac does not calculating again with the previous example that would be probability of b and j and not b to hum ise comma ke form mein bhi basis pe bhi likh sakte the i hope all of you just remember that given that m let's see divided by the probability of j comma m so here it is so ab hame kya karna hai you need to calculate first of all this numerator and then the denominator ab aapne ye karna hai you have to calculate for this aur agar hum ise ab yahan pe hum dekh sakte hain कि ये किस पर्टिकुलर एट्रीब्यूट्स पे डिपेंड कर रहा है वी हैव टू एक्सपैंड इट एंड देन व्हाट पॉसिबल जॉइंट्स वी वुड बी गेटिंग फॉर दैट तो अगर मैं इस फॉर्मूला को एक्सपैंड करूं प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस वन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बी कॉमा जे एंड नॉट एम अब प्रोबेबिलिटी अगर हम इस चीज़ में देखें तो हेर इट इज प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ जे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ठीक है दैट वुड बी probability of b हमने देखा था that it's actually an in independent variable ये किसी पर depend नहीं कर रहा था and then we have got into probability for j probability of j for jack we just saw that it's actually dependent upon the a variable which is the parent so given that a okay now we have got this particular new variable within this तो हमने इसके भी अगर further parents हैं तो represent करने हैं and we can see in this example a is dependent upon b and e so it would be probability of p where a is given upon the basis of b and e okay now we are done with it probability of b already हमें पास था तो हमें दोबारा लिखने की ज़रूरत नहीं है probability of e now we you can see probability of b तो हमारे पास already यहाँ पर था नो वी डोंट नीड टू राइट इट अगेन एंड देन वी हैव गॉट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई एंड इट्स एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल किसी पर डिपेंड नहीं कर रहा है हेयर वी विल राइट दैट एंड देन दिस लास्ट पर्टिकुलर वेरिएबल दैट इज प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ नॉट एम दैट मैक will not call us and that is also dependent upon this particular parent a so it would be probability of not m given that a
सो हेयर इज़ द फार्मूला दैट हाउ इट वुड बी एक्सपेंडेड अब आपने क्या करना है यू हैव टू इवन आई हैव गिवन यू द समीशन ये अभी मत देखना आगे आप लोग देख सकते हो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट आपने हमें ये पता चल गया कि दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन इज ट्रू फॉर अस Jack is also true and M is false. So now you have to calculate on the basis of that for A and E. ये हमारे पास दो new variables आए and we know that there are two possible cases for each and every one that is either true or false. तो आपको इन दोनों A और E variables के लिए possible जितनी भी combinations है of true and false वो आपको देखनी पड़ेगी and you know we have got further two more attributes for this. So हमें दोनों के लिए देखेंगे we will get the summation of four and then You have to calculate how this would be done. मैंने एक फार्मूला यहाँ पर बेसिस पर बता दिया एंड देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट बट ये करने से पहले नहीं देखें करने के बाद सॉल्व कर लें सो इट वुड बी बेटर फॉर यू एंड देन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द डिनोमिनेटर प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ जे कॉम नॉट एम हेयर यहाँ पर हमें सारी पॉसिबिलिटीज मिल गई एंड वी नो दैट द डिनोमिनेटर इज एक्चुअली द सम ऑफ द टोटल आउटकम एंड वी नीड टू सी ऑल ऑफ दीज पॉसिबल वैल्यूज फॉर दैट यू कैन मेक द ट्रूथ टेबल फॉर इट और आप डायरेक्टली भी यहाँ पर जो टेबल में वैल्यूज गिवन है उससे भी यूज़ कर सकते हो सो वी हैव गॉट दिस थ्री नाउ वेरिएबल सो टू रेज टू पावर थ्री दैट वुड बी एट तो आप इससे प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी एंड एट के लिए वैल्यूज बना सकते हो प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ बी एंड ई कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड यू कैन मेक द वैल्यूज सो फॉर दैट फोर वुड बी फॉर ट्रू स्टेटमेंट्स फोर फॉर फॉल्स And for A, हमारे पास टू टू के सेट्स आ रहे हैं टू फॉर ट्रू टू फॉर फॉल्स टू फॉर ट्रू ट्रू फॉर फॉल्स एंड फॉर ई वन टू बी ट्रू वन टू बी फॉल्स एंड दिस वुड बी डन इन द पॉसिबल एट कॉम्बिनेशन सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट इट वट इज़ द आउटपुट यू आर गेटिंग एज द प्रॉबिलिटी एट द एंड बाई प्लेसिंग इट इन दिस फार्मूला वी विल डिस्कस दैट एट द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर सो दिस वॉज एक्चुअली द एग्जाम्पल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द मार्जिनल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द बेस थ्यूरम और इसमें वेरिएबल एलिमिनेशन भी आ जाती है एंड देन नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड 